to live stream to YouTube in 2K resolution, aka 1440p. Here are the recommended settings from YouTube, as well as some bonus settings from yours truly based on, at this point, 15 years of experience doing online broadcasting. Here we go. Video tab on the left-hand side. Click that video tab, and the first thing we'll do is select your base canvas resolution and your output scaled resolution. For your base canvas resolution, 2K, aka 1440p, is 2560 x 1440. You're going to copy that and paste it here, 2560 x 1440, in both your canvas resolution, the area you're working in here to actually construct your project, where you see my hand waving down here in the corner, and what's being outputted to the audience. Why do you want those to be the same? Because I recommend for most users to see on your screen what the final output will look like as close as possible. For your downscale filter, do 36 samples lands coast because if you're streaming in 2K, you probably have a very powerful computer. I'm not worried about your processor at all. For your frame rate, you know the deal with frame rates. You're an enthusiast streaming in 2K. You want to, for 30 frames, do stuff like direct to camera content, presentations, business webinars, stuff like that, vlogging. 30 frames is good for that. And you're going to want to bump it up to 60 frames per second if you're doing gameplay, sports content, anything high motion, high quality trailers. I'm going to do 30 for this setup today, but I'll tell you about 60s special settings in a moment. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. We need to go make a few other stops. The next stop, of course, is the audio tab, my favorite tab. Let's click that. The official recommended sample rate for 2K streaming is 44.1 kilohertz. You may have selected 48 kilohertz because your hardware recommended it. Try 44.1, do some test streams, see if it syncs properly, see if it sounds okay for an extended period of time. If it does, use 44.1. That's what YouTube wants. Disable, this is my recommendation, disable all audio devices on your computer through this menu and only manually add audio devices here that you want to use for your project. You don't know how many webinars I've seen have surprise Slack notifications and random sounds pop up in the background or somebody's dog barking because an extra mic was enabled because they did not manually add their audio devices. Do it manually. Take this seriously. Don't let surprises happen while you're live. Hit apply but do not yet hit OK because now we're going to go to the Output tab. This is where the more complex settings are going to be for this. Now, most likely your OBS is going to default to Simple mode. We don't want to do Simple today. We're doing Advanced because what you're attempting to do is Advanced and very hardware intensive and internet intensive. So go ahead and do the drop down, go to Advanced, and here we are. I do not recommend using any encoder to do this other than an NVIDIA encoder. Don't even try this using the X264 encoder. It's probably not going to work on your system. It's, it's, on the, it's on the edge. If you want to attempt to do it, maybe you have the fastest processor in the world or one of the fastest, and maybe you can pull this off on your computer with the X264 encoder, you can try. It's probably not going to work but you can try. So for today's setup, we're gonna do an NVIDIA NVEC encoder setup for 2K streaming. If you do not already have an NVIDIA graphics card and system built with this hardware in it, link in the description below to my recommended NVIDIA laptop that has a 20 series graphics card and all of the hardware and a 4K monitor and everything you need to do this sort of streaming. I've used this one for the last uh, two years, different versions of this laptop. It is the best bang for your buck for super high-end streaming. Okay, once you've selected that encoder, you want to uncheck the enforced streaming encoder limit, encoding encoder settings there, uncheck that. For your rate control, YouTube recommends CBR, constant bit rate, not variable bit rate, and so do I. CBR is your bit rate. Okay, are you ready for these crazy internet requirements? <laughs> All right, your minimum here is 6,000 kbps for your bit rate. That's your upload speed minimum, six megabytes per second. The recommended bit rate, and this is only for 30 frames per second, by the way. If you're going 30 frames per second, you need to have a minimum of 6,000 kbps. If you're going 30 frames per second, the maximum recommended is 13 kbps. That's 13 megabytes per second. All right. 
How do you know if you have enough internet for this? All right, I recommend taking 50% of whatever you're gonna be streaming at and increasing that, that should be your total. So for example, 13,000 kbps, what is half of that? 6,500. So you wanna have 50% more internet than what you're streaming at, so 13,000 kbps, what you're attempting to stream at, plus 50% more, which is 6,500 kbps, you're gonna be up at 19.5 megabytes per second upload. That would be my recommended minimum if you're going to attempt to stream at this level, okay? Always have 50% more internet than what you're attempting to stream at upload speed. Okay, great. For your keyframe interval, I'm gonna go back to 60 FPS in a minute, guys. For your keyframe interval, select two, that is YouTube's recommended. You have a gangster computer, just go max quality, profile high. You guys have killer hardware if you're attempting this. Do not select look ahead, but leave on psycho visual tuning. All right, we're gonna go over audio, go ahead and hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. We're gonna go audio, and then we're gonna go back to you crazy 60 frames per second people in just a moment. Go to the audio tab. There's a surprise setting here. It recommends YouTube, officially recommends 128 as your audio bit rate. I wish they recommended higher, but they do not. So I recommend doing what they tell you at 128. For recordings, I recommend bumping this up to 320, but we're not doing a recording today. We're doing a live stream. So select 128 as your audio bit rate. Hit apply. Do not yet hit OK because we're gonna go over the 60 frames per second settings for all of you extreme streaming enthusiasts. Streaming tab, here's the bit rates that you need for 60 frames per second, it's super intense. It is 9,000 kbps as your minimum bit rate to stream in 2K. That's nine megabytes upload speed. And your maximum recommended bit rate is 18,000 megabytes per second. So what does that mean? As we talked about earlier, if you're framing it, if you're trying to stream at 60 frames per second, you want to have 50% more upload than what you're attempting to use. So half of this is nine megabytes per second, nine megabytes per second plus 18 megabytes per second equals 27 megabytes per second. So if you're going to attempt to stream at this maximum of 18,000 kbps, when you do your internet speed test, you need to have at least 27 megabytes per second as your upload speed total. Otherwise, I recommend knocking this number down. You 2K streamers, you're crazy. And good for you for trying to push the limits of your hardware. Hit apply, and you can now hit OK. And if you would like help with your home studio, your technical setup, your YouTube strategy, whatever it may be, I am a professional coach and former media executive who's now doing this full-time, helping creators, media companies, and tech startups. Go to my website, awalldigital.com. Click the Schedule One-on-One -on -one Coaching button, or you can just pick your day, pick your time, and just book me for a one-on-one -on -one video call, and I can coach you through your technical and strategic elements of your online broadcasting to help you become more successful. Just provide your information, book me, and boom, I'm helping you out.